Got Your Six campaign is more of a, of a way to get um, private and public um, companies and industries together to help our troops. Got Your Six, the term comes from the military when you say you have somebody's back, you know, I got your six. It's so important the veterans have had our backs and now this is a chance to show we have their backs as well. The re-entry back into the United States is very difficult. Add trying to find a job on top of that in this economy and that's just not fair for someone who's fought for our country. We've got what, like a, a million veterans that are going to be coming back and, and uh, uh, reassimilating back into civilian life and um, there's all things, there's all kinds of ways we can help with that. Our goal is to change the conversation in America so that veterans and military families are seen as leaders and civic assets. It is a true honor to host the launch of this unprecedented effort, uh, which is not only inspired by our colleagues in the armed forces, but is in fact modeled after their selflessness and collaborative spirit. By those measures, the brave men and women who serve our country and uh, their remarkable families. Well, they set the bar far higher than most of us will ever achieve, but we can and will use their shining example to guide our efforts to honor and most important, support them. There's a thing called PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder, and it's great that people are talking about it. However, there's a stigma that comes with it, um, and people think that they're really hesitant to hire veterans because they feel like they're walking, talk, ticking time bombs, and that's not that's not the case at all. A lot of people accuse them of all having post-traumatic stress syndrome, and so they're afraid to hire them, which is not always the case. And even if they do have that, it doesn't mean they're not hireable. These are our nation's best and brightest. They volunteer during a time of war. They are in circumstances that require unbelievable leadership and innovation and, and technical skill. They're unbelievably technically skilled. They've been, they're used to being in charge of lots of people and working as a team. When pressure's on, I mean, they, they deliver more. That's the kind of thing that every company in, the Amer in America wants. It's just a question of leveraging the talent in the right way. Our six pillars are uh, jobs, education, health, housing, family, and leadership and we see them feeding into one another so that veterans ultimately can, can get a great job and, and be a leader in that workplace. But all our vets want is opportunities. All they want to do is be held up on a platform and say, you know what, it's your turn to show us. It's your turn to show us what you got, what you're about, what you can do for us. And you know, that's, that's how we strive. We strive on those challenges. We're given missions and we complete them. Now I hope every single one of you leave today with a mission in your hand, a mission in your pocket, and I hope that every single one of you, as our military does, is committed to that mission and completes it from this point on. It's one thing to salute them when they're walking through the airport, but it's another to actually have an initiative that helps them. It's really become a huge passion of mine to try and help this effort every way I can. And you hire a veteran, they definitely got your six.